Okay, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create your profile for the Moodle course. Um, the, the first thing you have to do is go to settings or find settings right here and I'm gonna click here on the plus sign and then I click on my profile settings and here if I click there I'm going to be able to edit my profile. Now be careful because sometimes people go to the navigation blog and they're going to find my profile and that's correct that's right but the only thing you can do here is to view someone else's profile in this case this is my profile but can I cannot edit or or create any profile there so you have to go to settings my profile settings to be able to create your profile so I'm gonna click here edit profile and this is what you're gonna do you are going to fill in your fill in your first name, your surname, and your email address. Uh, please uh, use or type the email address you check every day, right? Here you are going to uh, uh, type the city or town, and here you're going to choose, of course, Venezuela. Uh, nothing here. Here you are going to type your uh, profile information about yourself your name where you work studies and whatever it is that you think is important about you as an um, EFL professional or ESL professional uh, here you're going to upload your picture so you click on choose a file and that's all you're gonna do here and and of course you are going to upload the picture from your PC or your laptop uh, here um, picture description this is optional I typed there my name um, interest is also optional if you want you can type there a list of interests optional as well uh, a web page here I typed my blog URL Skype ID if you have it and you would like to share it the name of the institution you're working for and some extra personal information Remember that all uh, that the information in this uh, uh, in this course in this Moodle platform is only available for those who are moderating courses here or um, participants for no one else. Once you're done, you click here on Update Profile, and you're gonna get all the information you added there. Okay. Now, what if you want to check someone else's profile? Well, you have to find the people block and it's not here but if I click on getting started I'm gonna find it there and it's this one here uh, people block and if I click here sorry if I click here on participants there you are going to find the moderator and all the participants enrolled in this course and that's pretty much it oh by the way if you want to check someone's profile you just click on the person's name and you're gonna get information about him or her and that's all